Hey, what is up, guys? Now, I don't know if you saw tonight's episode of Main Event, but tonight's episode of Main Event was a damn good main event. I thought this was a good show. Most people aren't going to probably think so because it's just a random show, but I thought Main Event was good tonight. I thought he had some good moments. I uh, took the time to watch the show tonight because I was bored, so I had nothing else to do. So, I took the time to watch the Main Event tonight. Um, so, we'll cover into it. Um... This main event happened on July 29th, 2014, and it was in Corpus Christi, Texas, and it kicks, and we get Byron Saxon and Tom Phillips on commentary, it kicks right off with Dean Ambrose coming out, and he calls out Seth Rollins, um, but he doesn't show, which he didn't surprise him, and uh, uh, instead Alberto Del Rio comes out, because they're having a match later on tonight, and um, Del Rio said that, uh, you should be concerned about me. I'm a former world champion, a former WWE champion. I've won the Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, all that stuff. And he says that uh, he thanks Dean Ambrose for the t for the gift of his shoulder because, you know, it's injured. So th then he kicks him in the shoulder and walks off. And that was about it. I thought it was a good opening segment. It built up to the match later on tonight. So I thought this was fine. Um, and then we get Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, versus Ryback and Curtis Axel. Um, Xavier Woods was on commentary for this match, but Kofi Kingston and Big E were also out there watching. And I was just mainly kind of listening to Xavier Woods on commentary. Maybe I, I can see, like, whether or not this group between Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston, and Big E are faces or heels. And it looks like they're going to be heel by the way Xavier Woods was talking. It's like, you shouldn't pander to the crowd. You shouldn't kiss babies, um, how you fat ladies. You gotta, you can't have distractions like that. You gotta focus to get yourself ahead of the, ahead of the game. I mean, I like the way they did that. Um, talks about how Kofi Kingston never got a one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Talks about how Big E, um, is how how they're focusing on these distractions. Talking about how the crowd booed when Kofi Kingston was about to win the Money in the Bank contract, um, and how um he's won. A, Ten intercontinental, ch ten championships, and like ch mid card championships, and he's not getting treated with respect. So I like the way we're going with that. But one of the Usos beats Ryback with the, no, beats Curtis Axel with with a splash for the win. Wasn't really anything special, special the match. But I like um, Xavier Woods on commentary, and then we got um, uh, we got. Titus O'Neil and Heath Slater versus Zack Ryder and uh, Tyson Kidd. I guess on the main roster, Tyson Kidd's a face, but on NXT, Tyson Kidd's a heel. It's kind of confusing. I like him as both, though. He's fine. Um, nothing really big, um, but I thought this was fine. Uh, Heath Slater wins with a um, power slam kind of move off the top. Uh, that's about it. And they announce on SmackDown that Randy Orton's going to give a message to Roman Reigns. And they announced that Chris Jericho's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Eric Rowan. Uh, which I match is going to probably be crap. I wish I could have seen the Luke Harper-Chris Jericho match, but I didn't get to. Um, and then we get the main event, Dean Ambrose versus Alberto Del Rio. And this was an awesome main event. I thought this was... Well, it wasn't awesome, but I thought this was good. Um, Dean Ambrose is just brawling with the... I like his brawling style, like... Dean Ambrose is fucking crazy. Um, I love this Dean Ambrose. I like how he's just so crazy. You need to, like, hold him back. Like, why didn't didn't we see Dean a this side of Dean Ambrose when he was in the Shield? With, which consist of, um, which consisted of Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. Like, why didn't we see this Dean Ambrose? He's crazy. He need to put him in a straitjacket. Like, he just brawled with Del Rio. Um, he flew him into the barricade. He... Did everything he could just brawl with them. Um, Dario did the Instagram kick that he does in the corner to Dean Ambrose. He went for the super, um, the reverse superplex, but D Dean Ambrose countered. And then Dario did the Instagram uh, while Dean Ambrose was on the apron and just starts dominating Dean Ambrose for a while. And then Dean Ambrose makes his comeback. He has a, does a high cross body and just starts you know punching away at uh, Del Rio. And then Dean Ambrose does a suicide wire to Del Rio, and Del Rio goes right into the crowd, and then the referee asks, Hey, Del Rio, where'd you take it? Which was awesome. Um, then um, Dean Ambrose just kept making comebacks. Del Rio, though, ended up uh, kicking D Dean Ambrose in the head, and he thought that, that he had him, but he didn't. He kicked out. 
And then Dean Ambrose did a Tornado DDT. Del Rio kicked out of that. And Dean Ambrose was getting ready to finish off Del Rio. But then Seth Rollins came out and they brawled for a while. Dean Ambrose got the better of it though. And then hit Dirty Deeds on uh, Alberto Del Rio to end the show. And he, obviously Dean Ambrose won by disqualification. So good main event. I thought they really delivered this week. I thought they built up a storyline pretty well with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. And I thought Dean Ambrose and Del Rio delivered. I liked Xavier Woods on commentary. And the match, I guess, between Heath Slater and Titus O'Neil versus Tyson Kidd and Zack Ryder wasn't too bad. So, sometimes main event was is good like this, but sometimes it's just, just times where it's out of crap. But I'm glad I caught it this week. Um, That's really all I have to say. Subscribe to this channel, and peace out.